Yeah, I mean, my family's everything, man. They're involved in every part of this shop, you know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be what I am w without them, you know. They make life worth living. When you've had a hard day or things aren't going right, you go home and you got the kids, man. They're happy, you know, being children and getting to show them things that I enjoy and then being into what me and their mama have built, you know, and just to, you know, enjoy life, you know, and with the kids, it's, they make life fun. You know, at the end of when dad's work 25 days, we're going on an adventure. We're either delivering a bike or we're going to a show. So they're stoked, you know, to go do things. And we're excited to go to Born Free to see all the other kids this year. And the whole gang's coming. gentleman came up and said uh, I got a knucklehead in my garage at home and I said oh really he says I want to sell it and it uh, I said okay well I'm looking for one he's all well it was in a fire and I said all right well let's go see it and we left the swap meet there and headed to his house and sure as shit the bike had been in a fire it had completely anything aluminum had completely melted away there was I walked into his garage to find one of the saddest motorcycle sites I'd ever seen, just a melted, twisted, bent, rusted knucklehead. It was just held together from any of the cast iron and steel pieces. There were just, the rocker nuts were there, but there were just little areas of aluminum that had lasted. The cases were totally gone with just the flywheels. It was just a, a carcass of what it once was, the skeleton of the bike itself, you know. I got it back to the shop that day and me and three of my buddies came out here and stripped it right out in front of the shop and uh, started from there. And uh, it's kind of like the Phoenix is, is rising from Phoenix, you know, it was in a fire and bring it back. I cut apart the entire frame, extracted all the forging pieces, forged parts, the axle plates, the, the neck, everything. And then uh, retubed the whole frame and pretty much restored it all back to 1938. Everything that I could salvage from the bike that was in the fire is, is going to be going back onto the bike and just make it into a little hot rod. It's going to have a uh, 1940 uh, EL knucklehead motor in it. And just make it some cool, just a, a bike to go out and rip around on, go out in the dirt and race or do what they'd have done in the late 40s, early 50s, just used it as a as a dirt bike, you know. I'm making the gas tanks for it, which is another cool experience. plan is, is I'm going to have my 41 knucklehead, which is kind of my other dirt track bike. And I'm going to, I have a sidecar trailer and I'm going to use the, the, take the sidecar body off, build a little trailer and uh, mount the hill climber, flat track, whatever you want to call it, bike to it and ride it from Phoenix to LA. 
in June when it's going to be 110 degrees, you know. That's the plan, hopefully. We'll see how it handles with a 400-pound motorcycle on the trailer next to it, but I think it'll be, it'll be fun. Kind of deliver it like they would have done back in the day. Not everybody had a truck and a trailer to throw it into, so they'd throw it on the sidecar body, so that's the plan. Just take it off the trailer and rip it around one for here. But I'm looking forward to it. Really looking forward to it. Thank you.